Beyonce announced earlier this year that her father, Matthew Knowles, has been diagnosed with breast cancer. So tonight, as we mark Breast Cancer Awareness Month, we take a closer look at men and the disease. Beth Ward is here now with the story of a local man who's been through it and now wants to get word out about other men who could be affected. Right, because you don't often hear about men having breast cancer. Yeah, rarely. Rarely, but it's out there, as we found out. Chris and Jordan, Tom Welch of Longmeadow, that is, has a very unique and inspiring story. Sadly, Tom lost his mother and then his wife to the disease. Imagine, just a few years later, Tom himself got the word that he, too, had breast cancer. My mother died when I was 14 from breast cancer with a three-year battle. And then my first wife passed away from breast cancer when uh, our son was four years old. Then in 2009, for Tom Welch of Longmeadow and principal of East Street School in Ludlow, the unthinkable. I came home one day and I was kind of sore, especially to the touch, and um, didn't like that feeling. And because of my previous knowledge uh, said I should go in and get this checked out. Which he did. So it was stage one infiltrating ductile carcinoma. Tom says to say he was shocked is an understatement. After all, men don't get breast cancer. That was my, f actually that was my absolute first reaction was this, this can't be, this has got to be someone's sick joke. He says it was a tough conversation with his family, friends, and the guys he plays baseball with. A couple of people, are, the guys I play with, are like, breast cancer? You're, you're, you're a man. For every hundred breast cancers, there'll be one male. Dr. Elizabeth Brady is a surgical oncologist at Bay State Medical Center. She tells Western Mass News while male breast cancer is treated exactly the same as female breast cancer, because it's so uncommon, there is no official screening for men like a mammogram. So awareness is key. It'll be changes in the nipple. There could be bloody nipple discharge. There could be inversion of the nipple. More, much most commonly would be a lump. They'd feel a lump. Survival rates are generally good. I think first and foremost, it's very, very treatable. Far and away, those men will do well. But finding it early, she says, is critical. We talked about men having their, doing their preventive scrotal exams to look for tumors. They can do that for their breasts too. It's pretty easy for men because there's typically not a lot of tissue there. Dr. Brady is hoping the fact that Beyonce's father made his diagnosis public will inspire a greater awareness. Tom is remarried, he and his son, part of a blended family now of eight. And today... I'm cancer free. Well, Tom had a mastectomy, and eventually, as a precaution, he had the other breast removed as well, the tissue surrounding his breast. Well, the American Cancer Society says overall, the five-year survival rate for men with breast cancer is 84%. For the earliest stages, zero and one, which Tom had, that five-year survival rate is 100%. In the studio, Beth Ward, Western Mass News.